In this video, I will explain how the bundle hash is created. How the bundle hash is created, see this link. Search for the finalize function. To create the bundle hash, the following transaction object values are used. Address, value, obsolete tag, current index, last index, and timestamp. Open this link and go to step 6. This is step 6. This is a transaction bundle with four incomplete transaction objects. To create the bundle hash, the address, value, obsolete tag, and timestamp is used. The current index and last index are array positions. So this is current index 0, current index 1, current index 2, this is current index 3. The last index is 3, that is the array length, which is 4, minus 1 is 3. For each transaction object in the bundle, we take the value, which is an integer, and convert it to trits. So this is the value in trits. The length is always 81 trits. If it is not 81 trits, it is padded with zeros. The number of iotas created is this large number. If you convert this number to trits, you will get this value. That is 33 trits, which means value trits can hold more than enough trits. The timestamp is the number of seconds elapsed since January the 1st, 1970. The timestamp needs to be converted to trits. The length is always 27 trits. If not, it is padded with zeros. 27 trits looks like this. Converted to a decimal value is this large number. The bundle array index is an integer and needs to be converted to trits. The length is always 27 trits. If it is not, it is padded with zeros. The last index is the bundle length minus 1. Last index is an integer and needs to be converted to trits. The length is always 27 trits. If it is not, it is padded with zeros. Next, we calculate the bundle essence. This is the address in trites. This is the value in trits converted to trites. This is the obsolete tag in trites. The timestamp in trits converted to trites the current index in trits converted to trites, and the last index in trits converted to trites. We add all these values together and convert it to trits. And that is the bundle essence. The bundle essence length is always 162 trites, which is the same as 486 trits. As mentioned earlier, our bundle consists of four transaction objects. This is transaction object 0, 1, to three. And each transaction object has an address, value, obsolete tag, timestamp. In this example, this is current index zero, and the last index in this example is always three. We use the cryptographic sponge construction to absorb the bundle essences and squeeze the hash. Our bundle consists of four transaction objects. Each transaction object has an address, value, obsolete tag, timestamp, current index, and last index. For each transaction object, we calculate its bundle essence. This is transaction object 0. We calculate the bundle essence 0. This is transaction object 1. We calculate its bundle essence 1. This is transaction object 2 and calculate bundle essence 2. And this is transaction object 3 and calculate bundle essence 3. We use the cryptographic sponge construction to absorb the bundle essences, here, 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 and here, and squeeze out the hash. The bundle essence has 486 threads, and the squeezed hash has 243 threads. Next, convert the hash to trites, as you can see over here. The bundle hash contains 81 trites. This is an example of a bundle hash containing 81 trites. Add the bundle hash for each transaction object in the bundle. The field name is bundle. The bundle hash identifies which transactions belong to the same bundle. Use this link and go to step 7. This is step 7. Here is the bundle hash. This bundle hash is the same as this one, this one, and this one. After the bundle hash is added in the transaction objects, the normalized bundle hash is calculated. The normalized bundle hash is explained in IOTA tutorial 16. The normalized bundle hash is used to create or validate a signature. 
If the normalized bundle hash has stride value m, update the obsolete tag in the first transaction object in the bundle by converting the obsolete tag to trids, add value 1, and convert the result back to trids. After the obsolete tag is updated, calculate the bundle essences, apply the cryptographic sponge construction, calculate the bundle hash, and calculate the normalized bundle hash. You need to repeat these steps until the normalized bundle hash has no trite value m. To check for trite value m in the normalized bundle hash, see this link and search for the finalized function. This is the link. This is the finalized function. And here is the check if trite value m is found. If trite value m is found, the obsolete tag is updated by adding value 1. Here's an example where the obsolete tag was updated multiple times. This is the first transaction object. This is the tag meshes test B. And here is the obsolete tag. And you can see meshes test B is updated. The first three threads are XQT instead of MES which means the obsolete tag has been modified multiple times until the normalized bundle hash contains no trite value m. The normalized bundle hash is not stored in the bundle, but it is calculated using the bundle hash, which is stored in the bundle. The obsolete tag plays an important role in the creation of the bundle hash. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.